Yeah, it changed me. I got family members that are all over the services and all different forms of, the, of civil service trying to help the country. And I got family members that work here that, that, that help, help our state, help our city, do stuff. I got a cousin that was a fireman who was a rookie, maybe nine months on the job. I don't know when he got there, but you know he was one of the first people there because he, he, it's just that type of person. Gets there, God knows what he sees, or what it looks like. You only see pictures on TV. You can't even, who knows what, what it's like when it's there. You smell it, you feel it. He goes in, and he don't come out. How does that not supposed to change you? What, 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 how are you supposed to act? What are you supposed to say? How are you supposed to feel? You're watching something that you can't even believe is real. Anything, you can't help nobody. You know that you have people you care about rushing to a place that you're watching explode from from a vantage point they don't get to see. They're covered in dust and dirt and they're, they're running closer to it while, while you're hoping that people can, can manage to run away. That might have been the last steady job I had. After that, I don't know if it's the economy that, that dropped or if it was me that dropped, but shit got down. Down and out. It's been out since then. Odd jobs here and there. I pick up work for a couple months at a time, but I haven't had a, a job that I've had to call my own for a year. Shit, yeah, it changed me. And it'll continue to change me. There's nothing you can do about it. jobs, everything, you, you name it, it's getting taken away by a myriad of people that, that aren't my people. And then to top it all off, these people come in and they, 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 they fuck with you on your home turf, and then they make everybody else that isn't your people, like, I hated you before, and now I, I, fucking, I fucking hate, I fucking loathe you, like I hate you. And not only do I hate you, I have to be like, I have to be twice as, it's not like scared, but I have to be twice as aware that you're fucking there next to me, perhaps plotting against me and the, and, and the place where I eat with my family. I found a new way to fit some kind of fertilizer down some kind of tube and, and explode a thousand people for no fucking reason. Or fucking walk a fucking guy carrying fucking C4 on his balls into a, into a shopping center where my grandmother's buying groceries. Through shit then and shit now. It's twice as shit because now we know it. At least then we were happy and in the dark. I had this dream. It was like 10 years from now and there were more blacks and Muslims and what have you. In fact, there weren't just more. They were controlling the city. And they released every prisoner from Rikers Island. And they started to take all the white people there. Not just the white people, but the Europeans, Italians, Greeks, Irish, everybody and anybody. And in this dream, they shipped them to Rikers Island. And there were guards with dogs, big fences, barbed wire everywhere. All around the island, there were black and Muslim guards. They took everybody, children, old people, women, men. I watched them force them into the solitary rows. I woke up surrounded by sweat and shaking. I had this dream. It was like 10 years from now, and there were more blacks and Muslims.